In this step, we're going to take a look at how to play the cowbell while holding it. Okay. Um, most of the time, I would say, um, if you have to hold something and play it with another hand, that you would hold it in your weak hand and play with your um, your dominant hand. So I'd be playing this with my right hand, but that doesn't feel as comfortable to me uh, as this way, which is holding it in my right hand um, and playing with my left hand. <clears throat> now, there's different tones on the cowbell. Okay, that's the big, thick, nice sound. Then you can also have a thinner, higher pitch sound, and that's just in between, okay? You don't really ever want to play on the side of the cowbell. They're just not there. Now, this yellow piece uh, is, is called a ridge rider. Um, and the reason why that is on there is because you're supposed to play the cowbell like this, and the, the ridge rider protects the cowbell um, from bending and breaking. As you, I don't like it though, okay, because it restricts being able to play up here. Um, so I flip my cowbell over, and as you can see, playing on the non, uh, the side without the ridge rider it has bent. Um, but I can hit it on the. I can. I just have more flexibility in that way. So when you hold it, you hold it, and then you also you hold the to where the opening is kind of out to the crowd. That's where the sound is going to go, okay? And you don't need to crush it. You don't need to play this thing as hard as you possibly can. Because um, the sound of this carries very well. So that is how you play the cowbell while holding it.